Good evening, my fellow infected psychopaths. Today, I'll be injecting you with the insanity that is my voice. Let's get started. Oh, cool! Shh. Sorry. Oh, my fellow infected psychopath. Didn't see you there. You know, I occasionally like to get away from the chaos and the pure, utter insanity of social media and come to this library where I can unwind to a good book, such as this one. This book of stuff, I can learn all sorts of interesting stuff. Such as, do you know there's a testicular cancer, also known as Ligma? Ah, <laughs> uh, shush. Hey, what's this? An object will not change its motion unless it's acted on by an unbalanced force. Unbalanced force, huh? Hmm... I wonder if I can make a Lego gun out of that. <laughs> I am in misery. Everyone is watching me when I'm coming around. They all are judging me when I'm lying on the ground. This, my fellow infected psychopath, is a little machine pistol that I like to call WILDFIRE. Mostly due to its sporadic fire. The principle of how this gun works is actually pretty simple. No one more I will kind of explain, but I think a demonstration is, would be a lot more fun. Okay, okay. Let's say this taped up Steve kid. <laughs> hey, quiet. I'm trying to teach a lesson here. Where was I? Alright. Let's say this taped up Steve child here is the projectile. And let's say this bat right here is the arm that will hit the projectile. As the bat swings before it connects to the projectile, it builds up momentum. When the arm connects to the projectile, it flings the projectile outwards. For example... <laughs> I love examples in torturing Steve's children with weapons of mass destruction. <laughs> Just like the example, an arm that's attached to a motor, which will continuously rotate, Hitting the projectile from the magazine, ultimately firing the gun. The electric system is rather simple, really. It's basically a battery connected to a limit switch, which is also connected to the motor. The limit switch is the trigger, of course. The 
The magazine release is something that I commonly use in almost every one of my guns. Not only that, it's using a lot of other LEGO weapons. Not just mine, but like anyone that's into the hobby. It's basically almost like a switch that actually gets caught on the magazine, locking it in place until the switch is basically pushed back or forward, releasing the magazine. This particular gun has been done before, actually. Way back in YouTube days, people were making LEGO guns even before my time. The one that I based my design on was a very old video that kind of used a Mindstorm kit to kind of make almost like a machine gun like mechanism. I basically reverse engineered the weapon. The gun... The gun isn't best when it comes to distance. Compared to my SMG and my fully automatic, like, assault rifles, this gun definitely lacking in distance. However, it's fun as hell to shoot. <laughs> the gun has a very high rate of fire, though. Like, within a second, you can empty out an entire magazine on Steam. However, I can actually train myself to kind of almost, like, Quick push it, quick push the trigger, you can't give it more of a burst fire quality. But then again, where's the fun in that? <laughs> And that's all the time we have today for this class of Arsenal. Tune in for my next project where I show you the upgraded version of the assault rifle that I previously worked on. Make sure to like and subscribe. Also hit or shoot the notification bell. Also, be sure to comment on the video. I want to see what you guys think of this whole thing. Until next time, see you later, you psychopath.